Pilot who made an emergency landing on I-70 in Sevier County earlier today. Charles Aikens says, says that when he ran into trouble, decades of training kicked in. He spoke exclusively to our Ashley Moser. Join us live now with the remarkable story here. Ashley, this is amazing. It really is, Mike. Things could have ended so much worse, but thankfully, Charles and his passenger, between the both of them, they've had years of experience. Charles is actually a flight instructor back in Pennsylvania. He was on his way from California to Pennsylvania to deliver this new plane when something went wrong. So he and his passenger knew right then and there they needed to find an interstate. Everything was going beautifully today until we realized we were bur burning more fuel than was indicated. While flying over southern Utah, pilot of 32 years, Charles Aikens, and his passenger realized something was wrong with the plane. It was burning more fuel than we knew we were burning. We don't have any equipment to identify the fuel burn rate. They ended up gliding, the severity of the situation forcing them to find a place to land the Piper Cherokee 180. At some point, we knew we were landing on I-70 and we were watching for traffic. The pair made that emergency landing, unfortunately clipping a semi they didn't see under the overpass. Our right wing tip hit the trailer, and that's what caused us to go off the, the roadway. Thankfully, no injuries. They're just grateful to be alive. Tonight, Aikens has a message for all pilots, experienced or novice. Practice emergency landings with your instructor or by yourself. Learn how your airplane glides when the engine quits. So he and his passenger actually rented a U-Haul in Richfield, and that's the only place that they could find a rental car driving up here to Salt Lake to catch a flight home tomorrow. They did leave that plane behind. Authorities with the FAA will investigate to see what exactly went wrong here. Back to you. Experience kicking in there. Great to see. Probably saved his life. Right. Ashley, thank you.